feeling today. Welcome to Studio 701. I'm Amber Schatz. And I'm Jeff White. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And the woman, the myth, <laughs> the legend is sitting right here. Maddie Beer Temple, weekend anchor and weekday reporter mm -hmm. at, for KX News, is joining us because she became the story this weekend. Normally she covers all the stories. Um, thank you so much for joining us, Maddie. Thanks for Good having me. Good morning, Maddie. Amber. Good morning, guys. Okay, so this story has kind of blown up. I'd say mm -hmm. it went local viral, right? Say so, yeah, <laughs> I guess by those standards. <laughs> Can you just walk us through what happened you, around mile seven? You realized you had taken a wrong turn, right? What happened? Basically, yeah. So right off the expressway bridge, you can go left or you can go right. Everybody in front of me was going left, and I didn't see a sign or anything, so I kind of just went with them. And then around mile seven, I had talked to some people running next to me, realized I'd made a wrong turn, and I was kind of like, all right, I signed up for 13, I'm gonna finish 13. And then long story short, I ended up actually running the full marathon. So, so how did that come <laughs> about? Did you just say like, I'm gonna do it? Did, did somebody say like, you should do it? Like how did that, how did that, how? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so, so basically I did not plan on running the full marathon. Uh -huh. I told myself, all right, I'm gonna stop at 13.1. I'll find a nice, stranger cheering people on on the sidelines. I'll ask for a ride back to my car. <laughs> That'll be the end of that. And then eventually I found this one pacer group. They have a really good pace team there. Um, okay. And her name was Carrie and she encouraged me to basically join her group, keep running if you're feeling good, you need to stay hydrated. But um, if you feel like you can do it, it looks like you're doing a full today. And so she was just so upbeat. <laughs> and in that moment, I was like, yeah, I guess I can do it today. Um, wow. Little did I know it'd be really, really painful and difficult, <laughs> but <laughs> um, glad I stuck with it though, yeah. I'm amazed by this because from what I understand, you had never run more than 13 miles mm -hmm. before no, this. I, I have not. So and you had never run more than 13 Point one miles. Had you done a half marathon before? Yes, okay. I'd done three half marathons before, but I'd never ever wanted to do a full marathon. But now, <laughs> <laughs> and now you have accidentally. So, do you think you'll do another full marathon? Absolutely not. No, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anybody should ever run twenty six point two miles. What was? I mean, what was it like? You said it was painful, but like, yeah. can you describe that pain that? because I don't want to do it either. <laughs> um. I mean, I would say, you know, when people talk about running, it's a lot of mind over matter and mentally, you know, not, running is 90% mental. If you tell yourself you can finish something out, you can do it. But from the first 13 to 20 miles, basically I wanted to drop out. But once I hit 20, I was like, all right, I've got 10K left and I can't just stop at 20 and say, all right, I only ran 20 miles. So, I mean, it was physically exhausting, but by the end of it, mentally, I was kind of all in. And here you are crossing the finish line. <laughs> what was that moment like? I mean, you have mm -hmm. just achieved something you didn't even set out to achieve. <laughs> you overachieved. What are you feeling right there? Well, I'm feeling really proud of myself. Also, a lot of disbelief that I actually did it because there were some serious moments during the race where I was very much considering just you know, quitting, sitting on the grass for a little bit, hoping I could eventually get home. But it was a great feeling and also to see all the, the pacers and the people who'd run alongside me, cheering me on at the end, running with me basically the last quarter mile. Yeah. Um, that really gave me a boost too. That's really cool. Maddie Beard mm -hmm. Temple, she's not a quitter. <laughs> I, it's Thanks. an inspirational it story. It truly is. It Thank really you. is. It and really just goes to like your mental mm -hmm. fortitude, mm -hmm. if you will. Um, not everybody in the world, very few people yeah. have that. So kudos any, to you, that's yeah. amazing. I do think though, anybody can do it. It is a mental thing. Mm -hmm. If you guys wanted to run a half marathon tomorrow, it'd be difficult, but I think, I really do think anybody can, can do it. And so you're not <laughs> thinking in your head the whole time, am I done yet? Am I done yet? Am I done yet? Wait, what did what I, do? I do? What did I do? I mean, I was thinking think that <laughs> at the beginning of the wrong turn, I'm like, this is going to be the most embarrassing thing oh. to tell my friends, to tell everybody no. I made a wrong turn. And then it really took a 180 by the end of it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so you yeah. ran an extra 13 <laughs> miles to redeem yourself. Basically, okay. yeah. Fair uh, you are my hero, and a lot of people. The story went viral as it should have, Thank and um, she does a great job telling other people's stories, by the way. Thank so, you. have to mention that. But, Maddie, what is your favorite season 